Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Hope you all had a great weekend. Mine was very hectic. Oh, you know what I really hate? I have this like a bump all the time right here in my hair and it drives me crazy. Um, it was a very hectic weekend, which I will go over with you. Um, thank you all for all your comments on my Friday's video. I was kind of seeking help with how to stay on track when I'm at home. The weekends, I just do terrible. The day, and I had to stay home a day and a half um, last week because of the weather, and I just did not do good. I mean, it was just, oh, and then, no, I had, we had the holiday, and then we had the snow day, and then I went in late one other day um, because of the snow as well. So it was just a very hectic week, and then it just did not prove to very be a very good way in And then the weekend, I thought, okay, I'm going to go into this weekend and I need to figure out a plan. I need to figure out a plan for how I'm going to handle these weekends from now on. And then it all heck broke loose after that. So, um, but I do appreciate all of your comments because I asked for help. You know, how for those of you who stay at home moms or those of you that work from home, how do you do it? And a lot of you say you have the same issues. So it's nice knowing that other people have the same um, problem that it's not just me, but um, all of you also gave me some great advice. Most of that being is just look at how you live your life in general. And you are a very, that me, that I'm a very um, routine oriented person. I like to plan. I have, I have to be on, you know, a certain path throughout the week. And that is so true. And why change it for the weekend? And that is really true. And it's true not only with the food. Now I'm noticing that also I'm kind of off track and off routine with my cleaning as well. And my house is just not as clean as I would like it to be. And I know it's because I've gone off of any kind of routine for the weekend. So the week I do my normal because it's just almost like programmed in me. I don't even think about it. I just kind of go through the house and just do what I do without even thinking about it. Just like with my food, it's just, it's just there. That's what I have. And... So it's interesting that I do wanted to go away from that on the weekends when it just made me feel like my weekends were out of control. I think it's just I kind of wanted a break, but I think I can't take a break as far as routine and planning and having stuff, you know, just ready to go and like prepping for the weekend. Um, I think so. I think I just need to do that as far as with food, with you know, my fitness, with just my healthy lifestyle in general, with um, cleaning and with everything. I just think that's what I'm going to have to do. And I still am going to take off Fridays and Saturdays from cooking. I'm just going to have to pre-plan for those days. And that's just how it's going to be. So I appreciate everyone's advice and it very motivates me very much to to do it because you guys are right. That is the type of person I am and I just need to realize that. And it's not like it's, um, what is the word I'm thinking? It's not like it's any work. So it's not like cooking. You know, I want to take a couple days off from cooking because that's, you know, it, it's, I just need a break. So, you know, it's not like it's really a lot of work to stay on a routine on the weekend. It's just a little bit more work through the week, which is what I'm going to talk to you guys about. So what I kind of plan for this next weekend um, is to pre-plan some meals for the weekend. So like for Saturday, um, you know, usually Saturday, the entire day is usually just a free for all. I try to, st what I think is sticking to plan is not. I go to put all my points and I don't track as I go along. When I go to put my points in, it's, I always end up with way more points than I thought I had. And Sunday's the same way all the way up until dinner. And then I kind of start my week again with, you know, with planning Sunday nights and on. So Fridays are fine. We always plan usually for some kind of takeout meal. And I usually typically get either get something from Subway or a salad from McDonald's, that kind of thing. So usually Fridays, I'm not too worried about because I already have my breakfast and my lunch that I already have planned out because I'm at work and then dinner is no big deal. It's just Saturday, the whole day of Saturday and Sunday up until dinner time. So my plan for this week is to, as I'm making dinner throughout the week, is to make something extra and put it away for the weekend. So for example, 
Um, Tuesday night, I'm making chicken tostadas, and I already made the salsa chicken meat, and I have plenty left because it'll probably just be me eating it. So I plan on taking a portion of that and putting it into the freezer, and then I'll just have a chicken salad for lunch on Saturday, or maybe even for dinner. And then another thing, I'm, I have a package of chili and lime burgers from Trader Joe's I want to eat up this week. So I, there's four of them in that package. I plan on eating one for lunch this week and one for dinner this week. And so I have one of those that I can plan to have on either Saturday or Sunday for lunch or for dinner. Um, that's another thing. I'm, I have some hot dogs. I bought some of the Hebrew National hot dogs. And I'm going to do those tonight. I'm going to try the two ingredient dough with them and wrap them up. And I thought, okay, well, I can just plan to have like hot dogs or something for either lunch or dinner for Saturday or Sunday. So that is the plan. I'm just going to um, plan out something. And so I'll sit down sometime this week as I'm going through the week and just write down what I plan to have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for Saturday and then also for Sunday. And that's, that's just the way I'm going to do it. And as far as working out this week, um, all you guys were right. I just need to put myself first. I need to carve out some time to do it. So I hate doing it after work, mainly because that's the time I like to sit here and spend with the family. I'm editing my video and all that. And I've decided what I'm going to do this week is I'm just going to do a little bit something different with my videos. And I'm still going to film every day. But like today, this video will go up today because it's going to be a little bit longer because of this chit chat. And then since I haven't been doing a lot of chit chat during the week, because I'm trying to get my videos up earlier in the day, um, I'm going to take Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday's videos, and I'm just going to film my food. And there may be some little chit chat in there in between. Um, and I'm going to put that video up on Thursday. So it'll just be a three day of what I'm eating this week. And then Wednesday, I already have a pre filmed video that's going up anyway um, with my top 10 kitchen essentials which has a very highly requested video so that'll be going up Wednesday so you won't really have be missing a video except for Tuesday but this one will be going up late Monday so um, you really won't miss me too much but I just wanted to let you guys know Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday's meals will be going up Thursday's video and then that way it gives me time through the week to do some working out after I get home from work so I just been, I feel really good that I am creating a plan and that I am, um, yeah, that I'm doing something that I normally don't do and that is really plan out my exercise, this is what I'm going to do, and then plan out my next weekend. So I will let you know on Friday when I do my Friday update video, I will let you know um, what I plan to do for my meals on Saturday and Sunday. That way also I have a plan in place and I can let you guys know what I'm going to do for that. And I might even do like a weekend eats video like I used to do occasionally. So that since I, especially since I'll have a kind of a plan in place, I'll do like what I ate on Saturday and then Sunday and I'll put that up on Monday or Sunday night, one or the other. So that is my plan. I feel really good. I feel really energized. Um, especially, so let me tell you about my weekend. Um, so Friday, my son texted me about one o'clock and I'm sorry if you guys are following me on Instagram, I did kind of talk about this on Instagram as well on Saturday. Um, so he texted me about one o'clock and told me he, his head hurt and he wasn't feeling really well. So when I got home from work, um, he still wasn't feeling good and his temperature was like at 102.7. So we started the whole, you know, I didn't have any Tylenol, of course, so I just had to give him ibuprofen. And then um, he went to bed fairly early. He has a science project that actually is due on Wednesday, um, well, anatomy project. And so he, we were kind of planning that out on Friday to buy all the stuff on Saturday. Well, when I got up on, got up on Saturday, he still was not doing very good, and so I just told him to stay home. So I picked up some Tylenol, so pretty much through the entire day of Saturday, he was coughing super bad, really bad chest congestion, and then just the fever ranged from 101.2 to 102.7, and then it even hit 103 one time, and it was just kind of ranging between those, those that range, it was like 102.8, I think is what it got up to. And it just, it was like, it just never went below the 101.2, so Sunday morning when I checked his temperature, it was back up to 102.8 even though I was, I would get up and my son is 18 and he is a senior in high school. If you guys don't know, 
and even though he you know it's just still like you still worry because you're a parent so I was still like I could not sleep at all Friday night or Saturday night he was coughing really bad I would get up in the middle of the night and check his temperature when he was sleeping um, just to see how he was doing and it just wasn't doing good so I knew Sunday morning I wanted to take him to urgent care and so they didn't open until 8 so we got there about 8 25 or so because I knew the pharmacy didn't open until 10 so I was kind of trying to time it to where we could stay in town because we don't live real close to town and so I took him in and there's like 20 people in the park in, in the um, waiting room it was crazy we so I got there about 8 20 by the time I got checked in it was about 8 40 8 35 something like that I think it was like a closer to 8 40 and we did not get back to the doctor until 9 40 and we got out of there at 10 so they did diagnose him with the flu which was what our fear was so he's very contagious um they said that he she wants him to stay out of school the entire week um, unless he is without a fever for a full 24 hours so she was saying like, so if he wakes up, say on Wednesday with no fever, then um, <clears throat> if by Thursday morning, he still has not had a fever the entire day, then he could go, like he could essentially go to school on Thursday. So, um, so anyway, um, I told him, I said, well, at least you don't have to work on your anatomy project. <laughs> Although if he does end up going to school, we'll have to do it. So that may be one of the things I have to help him with this week. If it does look like he's going to get better and be able to go back to school. Um, he has a lot of classes that are um, advanced placement college credit classes, so he's, I think he's kind of worried about missing a lot, but I'm going to email all of his teachers this morning and see if there's any work or reading assignments or something that he could just stay up on during the week. So it was just a really hectic long weekend. I didn't get any sleep last night. He didn't cough quite as bad because they did give us some cough syrup, and so um, he... It seemed like he slept through the night, but I did get up at like two and checked his temperature. Then I get up four and at four, it was 102.7. So I need to go get him. Um, I couldn't get him to wake up. I mean, he was just kind of groggy and I wanted to try to take any pills when he was half asleep. I think that cough syrup, it has codeine in it. I think it just knocked him out. So I've been hearing him kind of rustling around here this morning. So I think I'm going to go in there and have him take some more, um, ibuprofen and then while I'm at work today I'm just going to text him every two hours and tell him to check his temperature and keep him on track with that. Other than that they just gave us some um, Flonase and then told us to have him take Mucinex as well. So other than that since he is young and healthy they didn't suggest any kind of other medication because it's <clears throat> they're just like she just was blunt and honest and said that really this year nothing is really helping there's some things that are helping lessen it but um, they're trying to reserve that for older people or people with complications. So I understand that, you know, people who are, you know, people who may be sickly because of other um, issues. And he's a very healthy kid regardless of this type of thing. So anyway, um, I'm going to pick up some soups and stuff for him because he just hasn't really been feeling like eating. But then he gets hungry, but he doesn't eat a lot. So I think I'm going to pick him up some different soups and stuff for him to at least have something and he can have that in like toast or something. So anyway, I am very tired, mama, and I, um, but I made it through the weekend without really any disasters. I didn't drink enough water and I'm kind of feeling it. Um, it almost even feels like kind of like a bladder infection coming on, which is terrible. I used to get those all the time. Um, so I know it's just because I didn't drink a lot of water. I drank a lot of coffee this weekend. And, um, but as far as food, I didn't go off the rails by no means, especially with this going on. I think it was just more of, I was in like kind of that worried mode, which I don't eat when I'm in a worried mode. I eat when I'm in an upset mode. I wasn't upset. I was worried. So when I'm angry and worried, I don't eat. So it actually was pretty good for my diet this weekend. Um, but anyway, so I am ready though for a great week. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to have for breakfast, which I really have no idea yet what I'm going to have for breakfast, but I'll show you when it gets here, when it gets here, when I make it. <laughs> and I think I'll probably have eggs. I think eggs and like avocado and stuff sounds good. So I think I may just have some scrambled eggs and I haven't had a grapefruit in a while. So maybe I'll have one of those and then I'll show you my lunch. And then later on, of course, when I have dinner, I will show you that. So I will talk to you all soon. Bye guys. Okay, so for breakfast today, I'm going to have a bagel sandwich. So this is one of the two ingredient bagels that I made 
and meal prep. My meal prep will be posted down below as usual. So that's one of those. I didn't put anything on the bagel itself. I just toasted it up. And then I just have two points worth of avocado and one egg that I just cooked in a non-stick non skillet with cooking spray. So that is all that is on there. I just wanted, I don't know, I just wanted eggs and avocado dating. And then I saw my bagel and that sounded good. Then I have a broiled grapefruit, which this just has a packet of Truvia on there. And then also I have one teaspoon of unsweetened coconut for zero smart points. So total, the bagel is three, avocado is two. So total is five smart points for my breakfast. Then I have my one point cup of coffee. This is um, just regular coffee with two tablespoons of a fat-free half and half in it. So total for breakfast then is six smart points. Then for lunch today, I am having one of the um, bean and bacon soups that I meal prepped. I did show how I made this soup in my meal prep video, so be sure to check that out. It is really good. It's only one smart point. It's bean with bacon. I used turkey bacon. And other than that, everything in there was zero smart points, so I just used some dried beans. So there's white beans with um, carrots and celery and onion and a little bit of tomato paste and some low low sodium fat-free chicken broth. So very simple, but really yummy. Um, this again is like one smart point. And then I have one smart point worth of these oyster crackers. You can have like 38 of them for two smart points, but you can have 33 for one smart point. So I have 33 of those in here. So I just plan on putting those inside the soup. So lunch is going to be two smart points. Then for snacks today, this is what I am bringing. I don't know if I'll eat them all, but I think kind of the plan is I'll probably have the yogurt for the morning snack. That's what I usually have around 10 o'clock. I usually want a snack, so I'll have a yogurt then. And then I usually want something in the afternoon around 2, 2.30, 3 o'clock. So I think I'm going to have my salsa with the corn chips. So these are the Good Thins corn chips I showed in my grocery haul. My grocery haul will be linked down below as well. So this, I have two points worth of the corn chips, and then this is salsa that is zero smart points, and then I have a hard-boiled egg. So my snack would be two smart points for my afternoon snack, and then I do like to have something that I could have on my way home from work so I don't snack a lot when I'm making dinner. So I have a one-point cheese stick and then an apple. I always try to have some kind of protein in my snacks that keeps me fuller throughout the day and stops me from snacking on things that I shouldn't be snacking on. So this is what I'm gonna to bring to work today. I am making another one point cup of coffee. So I have coffee here. I also think on this one, I'm gonna add in some of the sugar-free vanilla for zero smart points. And then two tablespoons of my fat-free half and half for one. 